Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a lifter in your 3.7, 4.7 liter Dodge Jeep Mitsubishi Chrysler V8 motors. Um, these are prone to go bad. They're, and this is what causes a lot of uh, camshaft cylinder head failures. Because when one of these rockers pops out of here, it can do some serious damage. So if you do hear a lifter ticking, it is best to change it as soon as you possibly can. Um, and what causes this, a lot of it, I mean when this lifter collapses, is the fact that the oil hasn't been changed properly. And this sludging up and keeping oil from getting into this lifter and operating like it should. So this particular motor is very sensitive to oil changes and the oil quality. It's something I would recommend you do at least every 3,500 miles and you put a full synthetic motor oil in your V8. All right, well, let me show you how to change these out. They are not hard to do at all. You really don't need any special tools. I do have a, um, I bought a special tool for this to do the job and I found out the stuff that I had in my toolbox works perfectly fine and I could have saved myself 50 bucks. All right, well, let's get started. All right, what I got here is a 10 millimeter distributor wrench. Uh, this is a Craftsman one and they're very thin. Now you could probably sand a, a 10 millimeter wrench down if you wanted to. Uh, you can buy a full set of these and this one works great. Um, it doesn't take much heat a bend into it like that. Now I'll show you where this comes in handy. Right here you're gonna place that underneath the uh, rocker or it's actually called a fulcrum and you're gonna want that lobe to be upward. Uh, this one isn't so much but it probably will work just fine. You're gonna pop it out of there just like that makes it much easier if the valve isn't compressed. This was just about getting to the point where it's going to compress the valve. And that's how you pull the uh, rocker out of there. And then your lifter is right there like that. This particular one is a solid lifter. I just got done putting these in, but I thought I'd show you guys how to change out a lifter and a rocker. This is what a typical lifter looks like. There was, was nothing wrong with this one or any of the ones I had. So let's say this is what you're going to be replacing. You put it in there like so. You take your rocker, slide it in here, bring it down on the valve stem like so, and up here like so. Okay, now, right down here, using a pry bar or a straight blade screwdriver, it's going to kind of depend which one you're changing out. In some situations, a large screwdriver, like the one over here, that would work really great for that one. So all you, now i got to do is just lift up. You see how it's moving here? And it snaps right on. And that's how easy they are to change out. But again, make sure the lobe is facing upward where this one, it's really borderline. I mean, it should be pointing up here, much like that one is right there. This isn't the, actually the perfect spot to be changing out the uh, rocker or lifter. And there you have it. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.